Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super exciting because it's a reading vlog. What am I reading? I probably should have gotten it before starting the video. I'm going to be reading Light Lark by Alec Astor. I am sure you guys have seen the tea surrounding this book, if you want to call it that. Um, basically, I want to avoid all responsibilities, so I'm going to be reading this, and I'm going to be vlogging my thoughts. I will say, I'm going to do what I do when I read, um, I spend at Barbarians, actually. I show the non-spoiler part first, and then at the very end, I'll add all the spoilers in. Um, that way, if you guys haven't read the book, you can still watch the video, but if you have read the book, you can watch the whole video. Hopefully that makes sense. I want to say my voice is gone. I'm sorry. I just need to read this, and I'm going to vlog it. And you guys are gonna watch it if you want, I guess. But yeah. Say I ordered like I did the pre-order of this book. So I filled out the sheet that she was promoting on her TikToks for overlays of the characters. And I think it's been three weeks or so. And I I haven't gotten them and I really want them because they are so pretty. So if anyone knows anything about that, let me know. This dedication is actually pretty cute. It says for Ron, I think that's how you say his name. I couldn't write our love story if I tried. So that's super cute. So we have multiple point of views and I'm super excited. I didn't say what this was about, so here it is. Welcome to the Centennial. Every hundred years, the island of Light Lark appears for only 100 days to host a deadly game where the rulers of six realms fight to break their curses and win unparalleled power. Each ruler has something to hide. Each curse is uniquely wicked. To break them and save themselves and their realms, one ruler will die. To, to survive, crown must lie, cheat, betray, even as love complicates everything. You mean she is like our main focus? So. Let's do a little update on Light Lark. Spoiler free. Um, so I read the first two chapters of the book. I thought it was dual point of view or like multiple point of view. It wasn't. It just the title of the first chapter was her name. It's a story told in third person, which I feel like I haven't read. I feel like I haven't read a lot of third person fiction recently. It's mostly been a second person actually or first person. Um, so that's kind of interesting, kind of fun. I think the dialogue is really good so far in it. We have met, we met Isla. I don't know if that's how you say her name, so I'm sorry if it's wrong. That's just how I'm pronouncing it. We met Isla. We've met Celeste, which is the Starling ruler. That's another thing. Like the the names are kind of weird. Like Isla is a wildling, I think. Um, anyways, we met Celeste. We met Grim, which he sounds really hot. We met another girl and another boy, which I'm forgetting their names all of a sudden. Duel. And then the last one is Cleo. And I'm assuming that the last one is a king. And she keeps on bringing him up. And it sounds like they relate to one another. So I'm trying to figure out if the romance and the story is between her and the king or her and Grim. Because either of them seem like a viable option. But we haven't actually met the king yet. So I'm a little worried about that. Um... So, I don't know who I'm going to root for. I always root for, like, the side guy and, like, the underdog. But it kind of feels like Grimm is, like, misunderstood because he's, um, a night lark or something like that. Not a night lark. See, I'm, like, I have to learn, like, a whole new world shade. That's what it is. So, anyways, I'm going to keep on reading. I am going to update the spoiler section right now. Guys, I'm sorry. This, like, angle is so bad. So, for the non-spoiler section, they are about to duel. Or not duel. Well, actually, yeah, they're about to duel. But they're about to start the actual, like, centennial. Um, 
they were talking about rules and obviously i don't know if i said this i think i did actually say it but ruler has to die for the curses to be broken so obviously they're gonna want to start like killing each other because they want to win or get their uh curses broken and the king oro we were introduced to the king um who was the sixth person who's participating in the centennial um the king made like a rule where no assass assassinations can happen um before the 50 day mark but after the 50 day mark those can happen um but yeah i have been enjoying this book so far um i think the world building is good i will say at points it kind of feels like too ex expositiony like too much like get put me inside of a scene let's get like actual things happening but i also understand it's the first book so you want to establish like the characters the world um explain like what the curse is i will say she is repeating the curses so much like what the centennial is like i knew what the centennial was like literally by the description of the book um and it's just like the same thing over and over so that's like my only problem at this moment but so far i'm enjoying it guys i like it i want to see more of the characters we've seen her with grim which their situationship i like it i'm trying to figure out if they're gonna end up together or if her and the king are gonna end up together don't know but yeah that's it for the non-spoiler section so now i'm gonna go to the spoiler section basically what's happening <laughs> i'm eating guac from chipotle and they have started to do the dueling and things like that and right now they're just having dinner with some people from light lark and yeah turns out like isla has a friend there celeste um and she's just trying to figure it out um they're like kind of doing a backup plan and things like that but so far so good sorry it's hard to like not spoil a book but anyways hey guys it is the next day and we are going to be reading more of this i kind of got interrupted so i haven't been reading don't really know where we were at i literally stopped in the middle of a chapter which does not happen to me often i think actually a fire alarm went off and then i just never picked it back up so i'm gonna read this <sighs> things are progressing this is like a non-spoiler it's i feel like i've said this but it really genuinely is like hard to decipher like what is a spoiler and what's not um but i feel like this is just like the premise of the book is that they are obviously like competing kind of like supposed to be helping each other but they're also all kind of like against each other at the same time because someone has to die to break the curse um but what's really interesting is three of them i think three of them have or four of them four three of them have been doing this multiple centennials one of them this is their first year coming but they're all older so they all had like preconceived relationships and things like that and the dynamics are just weird um and if you guys end up reading the book you'll understand like why they're weird um just because there seems like to be some secrecy going on and things like that like people against each other so that's super interesting um but yeah that's kind of like a non-spoiler update i just finished light lark so right now i'm going to do a non-spoiler kind of like review honestly i feel like i'm gonna rate this like four four and a half stars i actually personally really enjoyed it i want another book in my hand loved the fantasy aspect of it the games you get six different characters who are vastly different i will say i did predict like the plot twist but i was still like was surprised by some elements of it and so really really enjoyed this book so i would recommend it um don't know why people were hating on it because honestly i thought it was great but yeah super exciting um this is going to be the end of like the non-spoiler section so if you aren't wanting any spoilers go ahead and leave this video thank you guys so much for watching but now i'm going to talk about the spoilers okay first spoiler of the book so like i said in the like the beginning of the video we are just meeting everyone and turns out celeste and isla actually know each other and they brought this like magical thing that's actually a starling which is what celeste is 
it's a starling relic but they brought it because isla is going to go off the plan and do something with celeste so i feel like they're going to try to overthrow it or something like that i don't really know um but it's good so far it's really good actually so this book oh my gosh guys um her and grim hung out i said that in the non-spoiler section i he he reminds me of Ryzen because he's like dark and he may he does he can't read minds but he does things like that like he can read emotion and i don't know turn invisible like random things like that super crazy she and her friend celeste they have the star stick or so i think it's the star stick apparently it can like transport you places i think and their plan is to leave before the 50, 50th night where you can kill people uh because our main girl isla she had this like plan uh made for her by her two like guardians and they're like you need to make the king fall in love with you and she's like i don't want to do that but i think i think they are he, he, she was singing outside on the balcony this happened a few chapters ago and all of a sudden he starts clapping and she falls into a river or not the river the ocean he saves her they go to dinner and he like is rude to her and i'm like i feel like they're gonna fall in love because that's like not what she's supposed to do like specifically she was told to fall in love with him or not to fall in love with him but to have her or have him fall in love with her because apparently their species like the wildlings if someone loves him like they have to die or something like that i can't exactly remember but i'm like i don't know who the romance is going to be between i am enjoying this book a lot like i'm on chapter seven we're about to start getting into like the actual fighting and stuff that's another thing nightshade not nightshade Graham helped her like he was like we're gonna be dueling so start practicing and i'm like Graham, okay um anyways that's that thing uh, <laughs> guys Graham. oh oh my god Graham. okay listen to this so they're dueling right and it turns out Graham and our girl isla are going to be paired together and she goes he watched the movement staring at her neck far t far too intently before almost absent-mindedly burying his teeth like he wanted to bite her there it's an inexplicably prickled at the thought she wants him to bite her i want him to bite her oh anyways guys spoiler so i was just saying how the biting and stuff they ended up dueling she won she is a beast she's a warrior warrior she ends up fighting oro the king and she let him win and he knows so i feel like there has to be some sort of love triangle going on and i don't know who to root for like for some reason i want oro but like also like grim I don't know. I don't know. Grim just did it again. Listen to this. She's walking into this room um, for a dinner and she's looking sexy, you know. She's a seductress. Like, that's what wildlings are. They're beautiful because if someone falls in love with them, they have to die. Like, it's like the siren type of, like, story. So, they obviously thought, like I said, I'm just gonna read this because I just can't, I can't get it out of my head. It's just so good. And it's on page 69. Okay, and I don't know what I enjoy more, replaying the image of my sword against your throat or thinking about how your heart might look on my plate. Grim's dark eyes flashed with amusement. Careful, heart eater, he whispered, towering over her, standing far too close. I might just give it to you. Guys, I think they're in game. I think that's who I want, but also like Oro. Like, I just feel like there's something about him that I like. But Grim, oh, I don't know. It's confusing this book is getting good she has snuck into multiple different aisles they call them for the different like types of um powers i guess like the wildlings the sunlings etc etc she went into cleo's which is a moonling and there seemed to be like she was like creating an army so i'm assuming cleo and i will say like throughout the book it kind of has seemed like cleo is like kind of plotting against them like the king and cleo are tied right now um which is like kind of crazy but i think cleo is going to go against them 
Also, Grim said he didn't want the curses to break, so I'm confused why he came this year if he doesn't even want it to be broken. So I'm very, I'm very interested. I'm gonna keep on reading. It's huge spoiler. Apparently, Oro is dying, the king. So I'm assuming that takes him out of the love triangle, but I'm like, he's dying. What? What, 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 what? Guys, so finish the book. Um, loved it. The whole plot twist where like Grimm and Isla actually knew each other knew each other before really got me was not expecting that I did expect Celeste to be the betrayer was not expecting that from Grimm though really messed up I I am rooting for Oro obviously because he's like awesome but I'm assuming in the next following books like somehow she's gonna end up with Grimm like something like that is gonna happen but guys this book is so good I loved it um yeah wow i truly enjoyed this that's it that's my thoughts hopefully you guys enjoyed this little reading vlog i am so glad i got to film it um fun little book i read this in like two days so super fast read um but yeah that's the end of this video let me know if you guys have read this book if you have what you think about it if you're gonna read it let me know and i'll see you guys next time peace and love bye guys